said, let there be light. There was light. En Santiago 1, verso 2, está escrito que tenga gozo cuando pase por diversas pruebas, porque de allí saldré victorioso. Mi lamento cambiaste por danza, ya no hay tristeza, solo alabanza. Mi lamento cambiaste por danza, ya no hay tristeza. Yo danzo, 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 en el proceso y grito, 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 no moriré, doy vueltas, 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 no me avergüenzo y fiesta, 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 fiesta. quieran callar mientras viva te alabaré aunque el desierto me quiera secar mientras viva te alabaré aunque la higuera no florezca mientras viva te alabaré aunque venga la enfermedad mientras viva te alabaré aunque mis labios quieran callar Mientras viva te alabaré Aunque el desierto me quiera secar Mientras viva te alabaré Aunque la higuera no florezca Mientras viva te alabaré Danzo, 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 en el proceso y 
So if you feel like dancing with us today, we're gonna go ahead and dance like David danced. All right? All right. Si tuvieras fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor. Si tuvieras fe como un grano de mostaza, eso lo dice el Señor.
to get down, to party, to have a great time. As Hispanic Heritage Month is coming to a close, we don't want to go out without a party, okay? So this morning is all about celebrating and dancing and having fun. Listen, you're going to hear a lot of Spanish. Are you okay with that? You're going to hear a lot of Spanish. I want to also uh, give a shout out to all of my Latin American brothers and sisters who, like me, struggle speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, come on. I'm working on my Spanish, but you are still 100% or 50% Latin American, and you are amazing, even if you don't speak Spanish. And who knows, maybe you don't come from a Latin American speaking country, uh, but I'm sorry, a Latin American country, but maybe you love to speak Spanish. And you are here this morning to practice what you just took a quiz on last week. Hey, come on, get excited. So we're here to celebrate. We're here to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and all the incredible people. Uh, there's going to be all kinds of fun ways to be celebrating throughout the day. Um, I want to make sure that you know that um, there are going to be ways to worship that are in some ways historic to some branches of the Latino church. And then we're going to also get down in some contemporary ways like we just experienced with alabare, alabare. That's what I grew up on. So I just want to say lean in. Everybody's at home today, right? This is your home, this is your space. Lean in, whether you speak Spanish, whether you don't. Even if you literally have no idea what's going on, just give it a little rock, right? Just, just get down. Because right now, this is about being united in the kingdom of God. We are one body. And so whether or not uh, you, know, you speak the same language as the person to the left or the right, we're all one body, amen? amen. All right. And uh, I want to say a brief but important note because even as we're celebrating, it's so important to note that we can be celebrating and be holding in tension some pretty crazy things. We want to be coming into this chapel with some personal issues. Uh, we also recognize that uh, there are a lot of difficult things happening right now between Israel and Palestine. And so um, Israel declared war on Hamas after the most deadly attack in Israel's history. There were rockets being fired even into Sunday, and we recognize Yes, this is a very tense time. We just want to take a moment to recognize that, to be aware, to be sensitive, because there may be somebody, even in our midst today, who have connections in Israel, who maybe have visited Israel or have extended family or friends in Israel or in Palestine. And we want to recognize that some might be carrying that situation that we're, we're looking at like headlines on the news. Some might be carrying it with them every day to class. Some might be carrying it with them in a very heavy way with a lot more gravity. And so we want to, as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we want to pray for Palestine. We want to pray for Israel. We want to pray for Hamas, right? We want to pray. And so this is just a reminder. Let's pray that God would comfort those who are today in pain. Let's pray for those who are grieving in this time on both sides, right? And let's ask God to bring healing to the injured, to bring comfort, uh, and to be close to those who are experiencing fear, uh, not knowing what's going to happen next. Um, and then ultimately, let's pray for the violence to end. Amen. Let's pray for the violence to end. So let's take a moment. I just want you to kind of recognize right now that God is here in this space, that it is okay to hold in tension all of the emotions that you bring, even into a space where we're celebrating. It's okay to do that. Right? So let's take a, a little a mo a moment together, and let's just take a breath. Let's take a breath. Let's recognize we're all in this space together, many different emotions. So let's try this together. Can we take one big deep breath in through our nose? 
hold at the top and now release. <sighs> yeah. I'm going to say a prayer and then we're going to get back into worship. Father God, we recognize that this, all of this is for you. We recognize that you are the one that we want to glorify. You are the one that we are highlighting. And we just ask, Lord, for your name to be lifted high. And right now, Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel and Palestine. We pray for those, Lord, even those uh, who might be considered enemies. Lord, we pray for peace. We pray for peace. We know that it is possible. We know that you actually came to make one new humanity. You didn't, you didn't come to, for division and for division to end that way. You came to bring peace, Lord. And so we ask, Father, that you would bring calm right now, that the, that the war would end. We ask, Lord, that no more families would be harmed. No more people would die, Lord. Let the casualties end, Lord. Let the healing begin in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Yeah, we thank you that you are comforter. We thank you that you're here with us. And we recognize, Lord, that this, this is ultimately in your hands. So we love you, Lord. We love you. What an honor, what a privilege, Lord, to worship you this morning. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's turn our eyes towards Jesus. We're going to worship him because he's still good. He's good on Monday. He's good on Tuesday. He's good Wednesday, Thursday, and he's good today on Friday, and he's going to be good tomorrow, right? So let's worship him. Let's worship him. Amen. Yes, Lord, we lift up our hands unto you today, God. We fix our eyes on you, and we pray, Lord Jesus, that you continue to cover your people, God. We are your people, and you are our Father, and we worship you. Te damos gloria, Señor. Te damos honra, Señor. Ten misericordia sobre tu gente, Padre. And we seek you, Lord. We seek you through the adversity, God. We seek you. Dios está aquí. Tan cierto como el aire que Tan cierto como en la mañana se levanta el sol Tan cierto que cuando le hablo él me puede oír Dios está aquí Lucha Tan cierto como el aire know us and you make a way when there is no way we trust you God we trust you Jesus we place our trust in you God through every circumstance through everything Jesus we praise you through it we thank you father we bless you Te damos honra, Señor. Te adoraré, te adoraré. Ah. 
Aquí estás Obrando en mí Te adoraré Te adoraré Te llamamos Milagroso Abres caminos Cumples promesas Luz en tinieblas Mi Dios Así eres tú Milagroso, milagroso, abres caminos, cumples promesas, luz en tinieblas, mi Dios, así eres tú. Aquí estás, sanando mi corazón, te adoraré. Sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando. Siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando, cuando no pueda ver estás sobrando, siempre estás, siempre estás sobrando.
It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My, my soul shall make boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Every single one of them. I don't know what it is you came in here with today, but I pray over you God's protection and God's blessing and God's covering and God's goodness over your life. That's what he wants for you. He has plans for you. Plans to give you a wonderful hope and a wonderful future, not to harm you. His hope, his, his um, plans for you are good. I know I don't always feel that way because we don't understand everything God does or why he does it or how come he does it. But, you know, the goodness of God is that our lives are in his hands. And he sees way beyond you and I could ever see. Sometimes we get temp tunnel vision. I know I do because I'm like super ADD. And I forget what I'm saying midway while I'm saying it. And I never get to my point because my story just turns into another story every two seconds. But God, you know, he still loves me through all that. I got some good friends who do too. Um, so let's just live, continue in that same spirit of talking and singing about the goodness and the faithfulness of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Te amo Dios, tu amor nunca me falla, mi existir en tus manos está. Desde el momento en que despierto hasta el anochecer, yo cantaré. De la bondad de Dios En mi vida ha sido bueno En mi vida ha sido tan, tan fiel Con mi ser, con cada aliento Yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios Amo tu voz Me has guiado por el fuego Tú cerca estás En la oscuridad Te conozco como padre Y como amigo fiel Yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios. Sí, en mi vida ha sido bueno. En mi vida ha sido tan, tan fiel con mi ser. Yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios En mi vida ha sido bueno En mi vida ha sido bueno En mi vida ha sido tan, tan fiel Dios En mi vida ha sido tan, tan fiel Con mi ser, con cada aliento Yo cantaré de la bondad de Dios 
Lord, our prayer today is that you continue to saturate us with your spirit. Tomorrow is impossible without you, Lord. We seek you. We need you. I want to encourage you, if you're able, to lift up your hands with us as the word encourages us and as the word tells us, God, we seek you. We lift up our hands. I lift up my hands in praise and in worship. It's an outward symbol of what we're going on, what's going on within and what we declare, amen. We declare that he is God. We declare that he is sovereign. We declare that he is good. Even when times aren't, it's especially then that we seek and that we choose to praise you, Jesus. Gracias, Señor. Santo Espíritu de Dios, ven y llena este lugar en nuestra priente adoración. Llena nuestro corazón. Que te agrade hoy nuestra canción a su voluntad trae tu gloria a este lugar ven saturar con tu 
Come on, how many of you are enjoying worshiping the Lord? You can have a quick seat for a moment. You know me, when I have a microphone in my hand, you better not be standing up because your knees are going to start buckling. Hey, this is my family right here, you guys. Come on, give it up one more time. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for leading us this morning. Uh, uh, a lot of the folks up here are part of uh, the worship team of my, our home church. And uh, this is Nana, by the way. Nana, everybody say hello to Nana. In uh, 19, I'm not going to give your birth uh, year. Anyway, uh, she was born on April 1st. I was born on April 22nd, and we lived on the same street growing up. And so her mom babysat me most of the time. And so we've been uh, pretty much best friends ever since then. And so it's a blessing to have you leading us this morning. Thank you. Um, I want to share a few words. First of all, I want to share this. If uh, your God only fits in America, your God is too small. If your God only speaks English, your God is too small. I saw some people in here that were leaning in saying, God, you're working in this place. I'm going to worship you. And I saw others that are like, this morning has nothing to do with me because I don't understand Spanish. And what I would simply say is APU is 39% Latino students. And I don't share that to say there's a competition. I share that to simply say recognize that whatever space you're in, you're one of many. And it's important for us to recognize that if we're going to be used of God, the first thing we have to recognize is that our God cannot fit into our boxes, right? And so this morning is an opportunity to take that box out, whatever it is that you have, put it on the ground and step on it and say, Lord, you are bigger than that. Amen? Um, one of those boxes that we also have is, and I've heard this regularly on campus, I've been on staff here for over 13 years, I was an undergraduate student here, and one of the things I consistently hear folks share is, you know, I'm, I'm, having, I'm trying to adjust to this new environment because this is a Christian university, but I didn't, I'm, I didn't grow up as a Christian, I grew up as a Catholic, right? And my first thing that I always share whenever I have that conversation is to say that if you're Catholic, you identify as Catholic, that is a Christian religion. In fact, for 1,500 years, the only Christian religion that we had was Catholicism. And only for the last 500 years have we had other things called Protestantism, Evangelicalism, Baptist, Lutheran, Methodist, Pentecostal, all of those things. In fact, many of those that I just listed are only about 100 years old. So as we think about the long history of how God has been at work with his people, we have to have humility about the way in which God is working, not just in our particular church. And, and I share this simply to say we have to challenge ourselves as a Christian university that is widely diverse, that is an open enrollment institution, that God is at work in so many different ways and that my church and your church hasn't figured it out entirely. We all have really good things and we all have faults, right? And so as we come into this space, let's come in with humility, recognizing that there is so much to glean. And we have a beautiful 2,000-year uh, tradition of a Catholic church that has preserved so many of our traditions, right, that we are grateful for. And so if there's any inclination that we might have uh, to have a superiority complex or to separate ourselves because of these differences, one of the things that I love about the Catholic church is that the word Catholic actually means unified. It means one. And the way that differentiates from a lot of our, many of us grew up in non-Catholic settings, we grew up in Protestant settings and non-denominational churches, etc. And sometimes we think we're better, but in a lot of ways, one of our issues is we don't know how to be unified. Right? We split over every small thing and we start a new church because we couldn't agree on this one issue. And so we have things to learn from each other. And that's the, the message that I want to share this morning as we continue in this time of worship, as we celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. Did you know that there are 2.3 billion Christians in the world today? And did you know that 200 million of them are in the United States of America? That means if I had my right hand free, which I don't really, um, and you looked at all, every single one of my fingers, the pinky would represent American Christianity, and every other finger would represent the rest of Christians in the world today. So I want us to come into our classrooms, I want us to come into chapel, I want us to come into D groups, I want us to come into conversations with that humility and recognition that God is at work in so many ways that are outside of our bubbles and our boxes. Amen? Amen. One of the uh, influential voices that has uh, shaped myself and a lot of uh, folks here at APU is uh, uh, a gentleman who recently was uh, considered a saint by the Catholic Church by the name of Bishop Oscar Romero. 
And he preached one of his final sermons before he was assassinated because he was speaking out against injustice in El Salvador in the 1970s and 80s was a sermon that he preached at the ordination of a fellow priest. And I want to share these words in Spanish. So I'm like Rebecca. I'm one of those Mexicans that, like, my Spanish is all right. Like, my Spanglish is dope, but my Spanish is all right. So let me practice real quick. Anybody got, anybody got any tapatio or something that can help me out? Okay, uh, I think we might have an uh, excerpt from this sermon on the screen, and then we're going to continue in worship. Um, so this is uh, the words of Bishop Oscar Romero uh, who, from uh, El Salvador in 1980. Um, he said this, and the title of this sermon is called Escogidos para ser enviados, in other words, chosen to be sent, which is very similar to our mission at APU, right? So he says, Yo te auguro que este sea tu sacerdocio, un sacerdocio que precisamente precisamente told you por apegarse a esa cruz a esa pobreza a esa que no es del Señor merecerá su mayor prestigio porque no hay sacerdocio más querido y más eficaz y más útil para la humanidad entera un sacerdote que cumpla mejor la misión para la cual ha sido consagrado que aquel que se identifica desde su propia consagración sin traicionar nunca su identidad sacerdotal, sin cambiar nunca su finalidad sacerdotal por otras cosas de la tierra, sino dándole sal, levadura, luz, fermento a todas las cosas de la tierra, incluso a aquellos esfuerzos tan difíciles que hoy se hacen en nuestro pueblo por liberarse. Pero el sacerdote tiene que hacerlo desde su propia identidad sacerdotal. Pero con toda la entereza valiente de su evangelio que reclama la justicia del reino de Dios. Amen. Let's continue worshiping this morning.
esta mañana. My heart is full this morning. And I just hope that you take what happened today, this worship in Spanish, and that you take it with you and you see what, where God is at work in your life, but also in the lives of others around you. So let's pray and we're going to dismiss. Father God, we thank you for this time. Te damos gracias, Señor, por este tiempo. We praise you, God, and we worship you because you are not only our God, but you are the God of people, Lord God. You are the God of the nations. And so, God, we thank you for, how, for what you're doing in our lives, but also how you're at work, Father, in those around us, in this nation and the, and the nations abroad. So, God, I pray that you would give us eyes to see. And hearts to listen, Father, ears to listen, Father, what is happening. God, I pray that you would send us out on mission, God, not just to other places, but here, here at APU. And so, God, we thank you for all that you're doing in us and all that you're doing in those around us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So you're dismissed. There is an HSI event happening downstairs, so enjoy. Have a good one. <laughs>